Hello and welcome to my channel. It's so good to have you here. Have you been finding life a little bit challenging over the last two months? Maybe nothing significant has happened, but you just feel it's been hard. You've been pushed to your edges and you're feeling that life's a bit hard. Well, that's to do with the energy that surrounds us. So every month or every day, even the energy around us is changing and is dynamic. And the last two months, have given us a couple of really hard stretching energetic patterns patterns that are pushing us to our edges where we're noticing things that we need to let go of we're seeing the things that are our weaknesses and we're also at the same time seeing our strengths but sometimes it can be hard to be confronted with yourself so I've had a hard time the last couple of months. It's not, you know, I'm not doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for me as well. So I wanted to share today an exercise which, bring, which brings some kindness and compassion to yourself because life has been hard. Life has been challenging for all of us in the last couple of months. And that often means that we kind of revert back to feeling human, revert back to our ego. We feel less than our full kind of multi-dimensional self. We lose touch with our higher self. And oftentimes when lots of big changes have been going on, it does feel really hard. But don't worry, because when there's been, your life has been thrown about, you feel like everything's changed, everything's been rearranged, you've got to face life from a different perspective, new routines, new things to do, new things that you've got to cope with. Whatever it is, all those things are happening for you. They're not happening to you, they're happening for you, because they are changing your life, shaking things up so that you can get back to the place that you're truly meant to be. But that can be hard. So I want to share some energy medicine techniques, a little routine to give you back um, your heart protection, to bring back your polarity so you feel grounded, so you feel safe, so that you're being kind to yourself as you go through these changes. So let's start to do that energy medicine routine now. And it's simple, just follow along with me and I'll explain as we're going along. So quite often when we go through some big dramatic energy patterns that are really pushing us to our boundaries, our energy gets stuck and stagnant. We retract much the same as um, if you're touching a hot, you know, a hot fire, a hot flame, you retract, you pull away from pain. So it pulls you into a tight shell and you feel not connected to your higher self. And as I've said before, your ego takes control. So you're more prone to being hurt, to being upset. So if you've been feeling, feeling that, let's start by working with the polarity over our heart space. So first of all, I just want you to cross your hands. Take a few deep breaths. Shut your eyes if you need to. We're just gonna call on the energy of gratitude. So even though life has been hard, life has been challenging, there are always things in our life that we can be grateful for. And that energy of gratitude is grounding and lifting at the same time. So I'm grateful, and it's good to speak this out loud. When you speak out loud, it's bridging the, the consciousness between your deeper brain and your forebrain, subconscious to your conscious brain. So it's starting to bring that energy um, into your energy field, into the energy around you. So I'm grateful that it's been a beautiful summer. I'm grateful for the love of my family and my friends. And even though I've lost one dog, I'm grateful that I've still got my other dog in my life. I'm grateful to live in this beautiful county of Cumbria in the UK. And I feel so, so blessed. Um, it, the, the economy here is as stable as anywhere in the world. We don't have religious warfare. We don't have extreme with weather conditions. It's actually life in a peaceful, tranquil lane. And I'm so, so grateful. And just speak that out loud. What are you grateful for in your life? It could be as small as being grateful for the next meal or being grateful for your safety, being grateful for a friend or a pet, whatever it is, just speak it out loud. 
And as we do this now, I want you to turn your hand. Actually, no, let's rub your a wonderful electromagnetic hands just to open up the chakras in your hands, get the energy flowing. Shake that off. Now put your palm over your heart space. And we're going to be shifting the energy around your heart. And we're going to do the back of your hand because the front and the back of your hand carry a different charge. So keep breathing. And as we do this, we're encouraging, it's a bit like changing the polarity of a battery, shifting from positive to negative. Just encouraging the energy to flow, balancing, grounding. Encouraging that heart energy, which is the lead energy of all your organ systems. Your heart is the conductor. When your heart is strong, beating powerfully and the energy is flowing, the energy is flowing for the rest of your system. So it's inviting self-love and compassion back into your energy field, being kind to yourself, despite having to go through all these challenges, because you have been through them and you've made it. And now you're back in a place where you're meant to be. We're reconnecting you to your true self, your essence, your higher self. And now I want to do one of my favorite exercises. It's the heart loop. So we're connecting the energy of your heart meridian with the meridian of your pericardium, which is the organ that surrounds your heart. So if you've been feeling pushed to your emotional edges, this is bringing back that emotional balance. So emotional balance, grounding, and heart protection, protecting you from the difficulties you face, being kind to yourself. So I'm just gonna trace the heart meridian from your armpit, going down the underneath of your arm, pulling that energy, squeezing your little finger, turning your hand this way up, and going to the middle finger, pulling the energy down the middle finger, down the midline of your arm, and over onto your chest. And we'll keep that loop going down the underside, off the little finger, middle finger, up the midline, onto your chest. Oh, it feels so soothing. <laughs> down the underneath of your arm, squeezing off the little finger, back up from the midline, from your central finger, down one more time, underneath your arm, little finger, middle finger, up midline and onto your chest. We'll do the same with the other side. Then from your armpit, squeezing the energy off your little finger, turn your hands upwards, down from the middle finger, onto your chest, back round, under the armpit, middle finger, midline, onto your chest, underneath your arm, off the little finger, midline of your middle finger just breathing into that wonderful heart loop knowing you're bringing that love and that self-compassion let's take a deep breath I'm just going to do that exercise we did first off making sure that the polarities are rebalancing encouraging that flow of energy encouraging your heart to open up inviting the wisdom of your heart back into your life, inviting emotional balance, kindness to yourself, so you can be kind to those around you. So I hope you've enjoyed that mini routine today, because if you've been feeling out of sorts for the last two months, do that every day until you start to feel the shift. It already feels so much more relaxed for me, so I hope you enjoy that. Do share your feedback and your comments, and I'd love to hear your questions. If you've got subjects that you're interested in hearing about, please just drop me a note in the comments. I love to share tools and tips that really support you, that really support my audience. So thank you so much for listening. Please share this, like this, like the channel, so that more people get to enjoy these tips. Thank you. See you again soon. Cheers.